Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. We all know that there are two types of structure. One is load bearing structure and another one is frame structure. In this video, let's discuss in detail about what is load bearing structure and what is frame structure. What are all the major difference between these two types of structures and what are all the major important factors we need to consider while constructing load bearing structure as well as frame structure. And what is the cost difference between load bearing structure and frame structure. So with that said, let's begin now. Let me tell you about what is load bearing structure. It is the oldest and common type of structure and it is the structure in which the loads of roof as well as lateral loads such as earthquake, wind or borne by wall. That means walls are the major load carrying element in this load bearing structure. You have to understand clearly in this load bearing structure, walls are the major load carrying element, load carrying structural element in load bearing structure. So there will not be any beam or column to transfer the load. There will be a slab. So that slab load will directly transfer to wall and from wall transfer to the foundation. Now let's see the load transfer mechanism of load bearing structure. First the load will transfer from slab that is roof of the building. Here you can see this is the slab. So from slab the load will transfer to the wall and wall to the foundation and from foundation to the soil. Let me show you here slab to walls from wall to foundation and foundation to soil. So in this way the load will transfer from slab to soil. Next let's see what is a frame structure. Frame structure is also known as beam column structure. Frame structure is having a structural components of beam, slab, column. So these all components acting together to resist gravity as well as different type of lateral loads. It is also used to overcome large forces and moments developing due to applied loads. So you can make the difference between these two structure. Load bearing structure, the walls are the only load carrying element from slab. But in frame structure, the load transferring mechanism is different. Let me show you that in load bearing structure, the load from slab will transfer to beam and beam to column, column to footing and footing to soil. So this is how the load will transfer in a frame structure. Now let's look into the components of load bearing structure as well as frame structure. Load bearing structure is having a slab, wall and foundation. The load from slab will transfer to wall and wall to the foundation. So here in load bearing structure walls are the major load carrying element. The walls may be of brick wall or stone wall depending on the material we are using in the construction of load bearing structure. Whereas in frame structure there will be a slab, beam, column and footing. Let's see the foundation details of load bearing structure as well as frame structure. For uh, load bearing structure we provide size stone masonry or stone masonry as a foundation to construct the load bearing wall. So the wall load will get transferred to the masonry foundations. So this is how the detailing looks like. The foundation detailing looks like for load bearing structure. There will be a PCC and above that there will be a small thickness of RCC and then above that there will be masonry of different sizes and above that the wall will come. The structure will be having the footing to transfer the column loads. So the detailing part looks like this. We are having the plan of the footing and this is the section of the footing. On the top of the footing the column will rest. The column will carry all the load from roof and it transfer to the footing. So in RCC framed structure we are having many type of foundation. Those are isolated footing, suicidal footing, combined footing, raft footing and so on. Let's look into the construction. In load bearing structure, the construction is cumbersome because since it is a heavy structure, because the stone masonry we use to construct the foundation for load bearing structure, so that is also heavy. So the construction is cumbersome in load bearing structure. Whereas in RCC structure, the construction is simple since it is a column beam structure. We use concrete material and the construction is very simple. Length of wall. In load bearing structure, we cannot construct a long wall at a stretch, whereas in frame structure, there is no limitation to construct a long wall. In load bearing structure, the walls are the major load carrying element, so we cannot construct a long wall at a stretch. In frame structure, columns and beams are the major load carrying element, so there is no such limitation 
to construct a long wall in frame structure. Next one is planning and design. In load bearing structure, we cannot make any flexibility in planning and design. Whereas in frame structure, we can make planning and design as per our flexibility since the load carrying elements are columns and beams so we can change the walls like wherever we want we can do some alterations we can modify walls in the frame structure whereas in load bearing structure that is not possible we cannot make that flexibility since walls are the major load carrying elements soil type load bearing structures can be constructed only on hot soil whereas in frame structure can be constructed on any type of soil area in load bearing structure the wall thickness or more hence less floor area whereas in frame structure there are thin walls hence more floor area considering the seismic load load bearing structures are non seismic resistant whereas the frame structures are seismic resistant in load bearing structure the walls are the major load carrying element so that will not provide any seismic resistance in earthquake prone areas whereas in frame structure the columns and beams are the major load carrying structural elements so that provide seismic resistance in all type of seismic areas next labor requirement load bearing structure can be constructed using skilled labor also unskilled labors so both can construct load bearing structure there is no necessity like only skilled labors can construct load bearing structure whereas to construct the frame structure there are many skilled labors are required since it is a column beam type of structure there are many skilled works are involved in this type of structure for example bar bending shuttering and concreting so there are many skilled labors are required to construct frame structure considering the number of floors load bearing structures are restricted to only 2 to 3 stories whereas in frame structure there is no such restrictions on number of floors why this difference is happening in these two structures because in load bearing structure walls are the major load carrying elements if we want to construct more floors in load bearing structure we have to increase the wall what happens if we increase the wall thickness if we increase the wall thickness the size of the room will become less that means we will get only very less area if we increase the height of the floors the walls are not capable to carry that much load which is coming on the structure whereas in frame structure we are using beams and columns that can carry more loads since we can increase the size of the beams and columns that will not affect the size of the room and even we can increase the reinforcement which we are using inside the beams and columns so that will not affect any space and occupation of the structure so this is the major reason why we are restricting load bearing structure up to 2 to 3 stories speed of construction load bearing structure consumes more time whereas frame structure is less time consumed considering the span area in load bearing structure large spans are not possible whereas in frame structure Load spans are possible. Cantilever spans in load bearing structure. Cantilever spans are limited only. Only short span we can provide. Short span as a cantilever we can provide. We cannot go beyond that. Whereas in frame structure, cantilever spans are easily provided. In load bearing structure, all walls should be main walls. There will not be any partition wall in between because the loads are carrying by the walls. So we need to construct all the walls or main walls only. Whereas in frame structure. only outer wall shall be main walls inner wall could be a partition walls wall thickness can be 9 inch from minimum 9 inch we have to provide and uh, for frame structure we can provide only outer walls as a 9 inch wall and partition walls can be a 4 and 1/2 thick wall is room dimension no flexibility in changing room dimension in load bearing structure whereas in frame structure we can change the room dimensions because in load bearing structure the walls cannot be adjusted since walls are the major load carrying element so that is the major reason we uh, load bearing structures are limited to many concerns in frame structure we can change because walls are not carrying any loads since the beams and columns are carrying all the loads so we can alter the wall that means like we can have the flexibility in changing the room dimension we can adjust the wall dimensions carpet area we have less carpet area as walls are thicker in load bearing structure whereas in frame structure will be having more carpet area as walls are thinner next one is cost comparison which is the major part which you all are expecting so let me tell you what is the structural cost for load bearing structure as well as frame structure that is 1000 rupees for square feet for load bearing structure and for frame structure it is 1000 250 rupees per square feet 
so this rate is based on the method of construction i have chosen and the type of material i have used this may vary according to your method of construction as well as type of material and cost of the material and the place of construction next one is finishes that is 750 rupees per square feet for both load bearing structure as well as frame structure total 1750 rupees for structural and finishes including both it is 1750 rupees per square feet for load bearing structure and for frame structure it is 2000 rupees per square feet and if you calculate for 100 square feet you have to spend around 175000 for load bearing structure and for frame structure you have to spend 2 lakh rupees if you calculate for 100 and if you calculate for 1000 square feet it comes around 70 lakh 50000 rupees and And for frame structure, it is twenty lakh rupees. So again, I am telling you, this cost is based on the type of construction I have chosen and the material I have chosen and the cost of the material, whatever I have taken. So according to your price, because the price of the material, construction material will keep changing, and the type of construction also it varies according to your choice. So this is the cost comparison between load bearing structure and frame structure. So always the load bearing structure cost is less than compared to frame structure. So friends, I hope you all like this video. Please do comment in the comment box if you have any queries. Your comments are always welcome. And don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos. If you have any suggestions like whatever the topic you want, you please comment in the comment box. I'll try to make video on that particular topic. Thank you for watching.